reported today in The Verge. Why Rian Johnson wanted to make Knives Out a modern day whodunit. Rian Johnson's new film Knives Out is a devoted love letter to the whodunit genre, from its Poirot esque detective Benoit Blanc, played by Daniel Craig with an over the top southern drawl, to its apparent murder victim Harlan Thromby, an aging mystery author who practically lives in a clue board. But it's also a sharply contemporary project, not an Agatha Christie period piece. Even as Knives Out creates a familiar cozy atmosphere, it draws on present-day archetypes and culture war conflicts, sketching a modern American family whose motives for murder are instantly recognizable. For Ian Johnson, who wrote and directed Knives Out after working on Star Wars, The Last Jedi, breaking the whodunit's comforting and familiar elements out of their hermetically sealed jewel box was key to the project. Around the film's release last week, I spoke with Johnson about reworking old tropes in new ways, dealing with toxic fandom, and Chris Evans' sweater. This interview has been condensed and lightly edited for clarity. You've talked about how Knives Out is an homage to the whodunit genre that also blends in some elements of an Alfred Hitchcock thriller. Were there any parts of the genre that you'd wanted to leave behind? There were things I knew I loved about the genre that I wanted to definitely have in the movie, like the sequence where everybody is questioned, and you get to investigate the past through all these different perspectives, and then the big denouement with the detective at the end, where he ties together the whole case. That's one of my favorite types of scenes in all of fiction and I knew I wanted to do a barn burner one of those. I guess if there was anything I wanted to not so much leave behind, but avoid, it was what Hitchcock was referring to with his distaste for them, that it's a big build-up to one big surprise at the end. It's clue-gathering, clue-gathering, and then can you guess it? Yes or no? And maybe you can, maybe you can't, who really cares? That's why I kind of got in there with the monkey wrench and saw if I could put another engine in the car, to belabor the analogy. One other motivating factor isn't really leaving behind something from the genre, but something from recent examples of the genre that I wanted to get away from, they're all period pieces. I feel like we've come to think of the genre as this cloistered little hermetically sealed jewel box, and these stories end up always being either period pieces or timeless, if they talk about class, it's in the context of way back when in Britain. And knowing that Agatha Christie was writing to contemporary British society when she was writing them, the notion of taking this genre and plugging it into contemporary American society seemed like it could maybe yield some fresh for more on this story, visit the news article link.